Boom Shigai Mantau and today we're going to be reacting to a video called How I Gain 1 Million Followers in One Year. Um, so the guy that we're going to be reacting to today is called Philip Q View. Yeah, I found this guy on TikTok. Um, his videos were really good. I really liked them. I really liked the way that they were edited. They were high quality and they really told a nice story. So I was interested. So I was curious if he had a YouTube channel and I searched up his name and he does. So we're going to be reacting to one of his videos today. And um, yeah, let's get started, man. So today I lost my job. What am I doing with my life? Today I lost my job and I'm giving myself 365 days to go viral. I'm going to be living out of my car, driving around the country, see if I can try to make a living from creating content. I just want to thank you guys for the support and doubled and new subscribers. Like I'm at almost 700 now, 80,000 TikTok followers. Blows my mind that people want to Let's tune go, in. boy. Things have changed a lot from last year, huh? Hi, my name is Philip Vu. It is currently December 30th, 2021. I have 25,000 followers on okay. Instagram, 24,000 subscribers on YouTube, and 1 million TikTok followers. My most Crazy. viral video is when I gave a homeless man $15,000. <laughs> wow. And I know wow. My favorite video is a small little docu video about my friend's mom's business. My mental health is okay. I have my first team member. It's my manager, Andrew. In this video, I want to show you. Yo, I need a manager, bro. You know what I mean? If you want to work with man, you get me. Message me, you know what I mean? We can sort of certain out, man. I'm trying to get on them shows. I'm trying to get on them billboards. You get me? I'm trying to do modeling. I'm trying to do everything, you know what I mean? Let's build a connection, man. Let's go. You guys have gained <laughs> 1 million TikTok followers in a year. Things that I wish that I knew in the industry before I started. Finally, I'm going to end the video with how much my I feel like this video is going to be very, very, very educational. You know. to people. Anyone can get a viral video at any time, but how can you get someone to follow you? Exactly that. It's all about getting that person to follow you and connect with you in a way that, you know what I mean, the others don't really connect with you and then they just follow you and follow your whole journey, you know what I mean? That's what I want. I want real supporters, real, you know what I mean, real subscribers, real followers that, you know what I mean, are down for the journey and down for the ride, you know what I mean? So this video is going to be very, very interesting stuff. So for me, what I found to be most successful was highly edited content yeah. using part ones and part twos. Unfortunately, I've gotten a video where I got like 2 million views and got like 2,000 followers. And I got a video where I had like 300,000 views. But because I did a part one, part two, I ended up gaining about three to 4,000 followers. A tip though, if you're going to do part ones and part twos, do videos that are actually time necessary. Find the thing that's most attractive. What does time necessary? I'm going to have to search for what time necessary means means from because i'm not too sure for me most people say i have a very positive bubbly personality if you are really good at dancing or you're really attractive i don't know you're a thirst trapper at the end of the day we're all trying to build a following i started tiktok in june of 2020 <laughs> and from june of 2020 to december of 2020 i only gained 80,000 followers that's a lot at the though. time 80,000 seemed like so much obviously i've grown exponentially since then i didn't know and my it, niche was it's a at lot. that point but six months really taught me how to condense down my stories I script out a huge thing yeah. and then i add clips in push the story forward what i'm doing from january to february i went from 80,000 followers to 200,000 followers i went viral because i was helping out this homeless man and after that we ended up raising him ended up raising him fifteen thousand dollars crazy how much one viral video can really change everything from yeah, that point i also stuff. stayed with mike for the next six months staying in the east coast so i could take care of him in that space though i was also experimenting with going on crazy adventures telling stories and trying to be more vulnerable i think after getting a following i finally wanted to make the videos that i genuinely want to make which were videos helping people out going on crazy adventures yeah. and of course being vulnerable from february to april i went from 200,000 to 400,000 followers making these videos about that mental health bad, a series bro. of how i was dealing with my anxiety from april to july i kind of stalled i didn't produce as much content as i would have liked and it was really difficult because i was still trying to find what i wanted to do I just wanted to help out people but because i have such limited resources i couldn't really be giving That's that much sick. and just helped out mike with fifteen thousand dollars it's not like i could replicate that anytime soon it's living out of my car and couch with my friends. So this is my last video of the year and of course it's sponsored by Cuts. Cuts. You guys know Cuts has helped me surprise so many people this year and I literally love the quality of clothes. Just listen to what my manager had to say. It already feels so soft. <laughs> God.
Oh my god, it feels so silky. Yeah. Dude, I get what you're saying. It's like thick and yeah. thin at the same time. Yeah, I know, right? The quality is good. I'm excited to be partnering with them into 2021. Please use my discount code to get 15% off your order. It's full of boo. Thank you so much, Cuts, for sponsoring these videos. August to my birthday in October, I was absolutely grinding out the content. In the month of November, I gained another 100,000 followers. From wow. In December, I hit another rut again. Um, and I was working with Luke, trying to help him out. But behind the scenes, I became one of his like helpers and to be honest that took a little bit of a toll on me on top of everything else that was going on at home one night i was supposed to fly to new york to work on this massive project but i missed my flight because luke ended up in the er and in the last month of december i didn't think i was gonna hit a mill i made a video with audrey talking about how my friend audrey had promised me a date if i ever hit a mill and that pushed me up another hundred thousand followers bro that is insane fam how can you make one video I want to see how many views he got on that video, you know what I mean? Because, to be honest, I did see this video on TikTok. So, um, if he does have the video on YouTube, we're definitely reacting to it. Because I, when I say it looked good, from what I've seen on TikTok, you know what I mean? I was really, really interested in it. So, if it's on YouTube, we're going to see after. Yeah, we're going to check after. But if it's on YouTube, we're definitely reacting to it for the next video. So, you know what I mean? Stay tuned for the end. Congratulations on hitting a million. Yeah. Okay, so the borders are opening February Bro, 5th. Come February Bro. 5th. Yeah, so anytime after that. Oh, oh. There are five things I wish I could have told myself about TikTok ahead of time. The number one thing I would tell myself is you grow the most from your viral videos. To capitalize yeah. on your viral videos, you have to give people a reason to follow you. Yeah. Make the video super creative, show off some personality, give them a reason to stick around for another part. The second thing I wish I learned is True quality style. over quantity. This is something I still need to remind myself quality. to this day. You see so many people blow up posting really shit content. But at the end of the this day, they're different types of creators. Maybe they're really attractive or maybe they are they have some sort of other following. You can't really yeah, compare yeah, yourself yeah, yeah. to anybody else. Every you time can't. I post a video that's low quality, it never does as well. And even if it does do well, I'm not proud of that video. Yeah. Try to put out bangers. Three, stop feeling insecure about yourself, about what videos and what people are gonna judge you for. No one gives a crap about what you're doing. And if you're another creative, you understand the creative grind. There are people that are posting videos that they don't really like. It's true stuff. are super proud of. I'm lucky because I post videos that I genuinely really like. And yeah. those are the ones that are taking off for me. Number four, you're not shadow banned. Your content and your videos suck. You know, it's TikTok has flagged you or doesn't want to put your content out to other people. Yeah, Newsflash, the algorithm isn't here to hate on you. It's here to show you your videos to who is interested in them. Your videos yeah, aren't very really interested. It's probably because they suck. This video is about me surprising my barber with $300. And here is the completion percentage and watch time. Here's a video that didn't do a How do you one. get analytics? I'm, yo, I I'm, I'm want to learn everything because I really want to go on um, TikTok this year. I've already posted a video on TikTok yesterday. So, you know what I mean? I'm truly trying to go on there. So, I'm going to have to search all these little tips and stuff that he's putting out. We're going to have to look at them. But, um, yeah, you guys, follow me on TikTok. You know what I mean? The link will be in the description for sure. You guys follow me on there. I'm posting almost every... Well, for the last for the last two days i've been posting on there so you know what i mean follow me on there i'm trying to be every day posting on there with new content and that you know what i mean so um yeah man follow me on there and yeah man <laughs> look at the completion percentage of watch time that is and lot, this helped bro. me realize that all my previous that, videos analytics. were just not that interesting that transitions to my last point watch time and completion percentage is king finally how has tiktok yeah. affected my life in regards to clout i'm not even gonna lie people treat you differently some people hate it some people love it fans coming up to me and telling me they love my videos that's like one of the most enriching experiences nice. in my life getting yeah. fan mail but also there's gonna be people out there that haters. treat you differently bro i got a comment today yeah that said wtf who is you or something like that and i was like bro why are you why are you commenting on me for you don't even know who i am bro you know what i mean this some 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 kid from america I, I think he was some kid from america and he was just commenting for i was like bro you know what i mean you don't even know who i am you know what i mean who the Ah, oh, bro, I was like, bro, just forget it. Because you make videos and they people always use, come you on, yeah, just start figuring you know, out who just ignore is it. Really your friend. To me personally, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Probably date just as much as before. Different, more interesting people. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you like, oh yeah, like I'm meeting like the hottest chicks nowadays. Yeah, 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 yeah. As I've grown as a creator, I've learned that I just want someone that really values me and respects what I'm doing. To be honest, I actually think it's harder quality woman that you know gets along with you because sometimes people just want you for the wrong reasons. Yeah, personally. 
I wow. use dating apps so that people don't know who I am on the dating apps. Or I actually prefer going on dates with girls that really watch my videos, know exactly yeah, who I yeah. am and what I want in life. And the worst is when they know you make videos, they don't know what you do. And so they just kind of lump you in with all the influencers. A three respect. This I is like kind of everyone nice thing, else, man. Sometimes random strangers offer to buy me things, offer to take me into their house because of the validation that they know I'm not a serial killer because they see me in videos. It's actually really nice. <laughs> it's definitely a benefit to have access to people. I've met some of my favorite creators like Valspire, Jimmy Zhang, Kaz. Wow. Met some massive influencers, been to some crazy influencer parties. It's a really lovely thing, but at the end of the day, I think I started to realize that who I respect the most in this field, people that make really high quality content, yeah. regardless of what their massive following is. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Please give the video a thumbs up. Peace, Vukru. Did you miss that your tax video? Why? Why? Oh, bro. If you didn't file before the 31st of January, do. These videos are ending so fast, bro. So fast. Look how it ended, fam. Respect the most in this field people that make really high quality content regardless of what their massive following is i hope you guys really enjoyed this video please give the video a thumbs up peace Vukru. just just chopped it just bro the ending was bro if you're gonna make a youtube video yeah i don't care what the youtube video is about it's gotta have an ending fam. it's gotta have a good ending fam. you know you gotta sign off properly the man just no nah, bro Here we go. I asked my best friend on a date. She jokingly said, I'll go on a date with you when you hit one mil on TikTok. She never thought I'd do it. Let's go! Yes, we just have to confirm with Audrey now. I feel like only you would take a joke that I said and turn it into something this big. <laughs> I'm really proud of you though. I can't believe you hit a million. Yeah. So you just did it so you could hit a million? I don't really care. She's I'm nice as well, bro. Wow. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but you can have an IOU. So we're going on the date. Yeah, I just said, you can have an IOU date. Oh my god, let's go! You know what, yeah, I need to search up what IOU means, because I don't know what that means, but... Oh. Okay, nice so the borders are opening February 5th. So you can come February 5th? Yeah, so anytime after that. Give me the best day of your life, I'm calling it. You've given me very high expectations. <laughs> also, why don't we have the whole thing be like a massive surprise? You just plan everything. <laughs> I'm excited. Never thought I'd have a Yo, chance to get is... out of the friend zone. Good job. You guys are the reason why I had the date in the first place. Comment below what you guys think we should do, and I'll try to make it. Love y'all. Ten months ago, yeah, I asked my I'm best friend. When this video called, she has it come said, out? I'm going on a date with you when you hit one mil on TikTok. She never thought I'd do it. Let's go. Yes, we just have to confirm with Audrey now. I feel like only Yo, you we're gonna have to react to this when it comes out. I'm gonna have to do some deep research, deep research, and um, I'll see whether or not. You know, I mean, it's on his YouTube channel because I don't really have time to be looking for it now. But um, if you guys did like this video, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys did like it, smash the like button. Hopefully, we can get five likes. You know what I mean? If we don't, you know what I mean? I ain't, I ain't too bothered. But um, you know what I mean, let's shoot for the moon, let's shoot for the stars, let's get the highest we can. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. It's been your boy Montana Lewis. I'm gone. Bye. People fail in it, got you up in the night, now you dare